Welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen, and here it is, my first impressions of DayZ 0.63 slash beta. As many of you may know by now, I have played a 0.63 demo, thanks to Martin and Beatty from the DayZ dev team who brought it along to EGX 2017 to show a few of us. That said, by demo we do mean there were a lot of content cut, just for demo purposes. The footage on screen now is from the 0.63 build, do keep in mind that everything is considered work in progress, so with my 1-2 to two hours playtime at EGX on the 0.63 demo, I got to see pretty much everything. On screen now we can see new camera movements, new character animations, as well as smoother blending between animations. One thing I really did like about the movement in 0.63 is the crouching, proning and standing back up again is all bound to one key now, so instead of utilising Z, X and C to crouch, prone and stand back up again, it's all bound to C. Tapping C would crouch, Pressing and holding C would prone, pressing and holding C from a prone position would stand you back up again, and tapping from a prone position would put you in crouch, all seeming much more intuitive than how it is now. For me, still, I always press the wrong key between crouch and stand up in 0.62. And I know for a fact, under pressure, I'm not the only one who fumbles these three keys. Come on now, throw those hands up in the air. Another nice change to how you control your character is holding right mouse button to raise your hands or weapon, rather than how we know it is in DayZ currently by pressing spacebar. And I don't know about you guys, but again, under pressure, I tend to lower and raise and lower and raise my weapon rather than just raising it and shoot, leading to my immediate death. And on screen now we have a comparison between 0.62 and the Gamescom demo build of 0.63. We can see smoother transitions between standing, crouch and prone. as well as new animations for standing still and turning the character. On 0.62 you can see that the character seems to just float in a circle with no animation. 0.63 the feet are moving as well as the whole body making for much more realistic character movements. Another thing I did test out as seen on screen now was falling from great heights and seeing the fall animation. I did this several times, luckily I had no damage on. Oh, I was hacking, that's right! Hey, but it gave me a good chance to test out these new animations. We only had the two types of fall animation in the demo, the slight stagger, and then the greater fall, where our hands steady our body on impact. Both of these, though, are a great improvement to what we've been playing for the last few years. Oh boy, the next thing is going to bring many of you back. That's right, jogging up and down hills without slowdown. Keeping into consideration, of course, the stamina bar at the bottom left. In this next clip we can see the player interacting with items in the world with a key prompt when floating over an object, which in my opinion will make it much easier to loot said items.
And just like that, he's pretty well geared. Hey, I hear what you're saying about that new melee combat. Well, check it out. Here's Dean taking a punch to the back of the head. Melee combat is now proper melee, unlike in Wounded or limp animation is something else that blew my mind, and another feature we've been waiting for for quite some time. The more damage you take, the worse this animation can get. From a slight limp and still being quite mobile, to severely injured, holding your stomach, and crouched over, barely being able to move. And with that said, having a visual indicator towards other players on how damaged they might be could introduce new player interactions. Do you help this injured limping player, or do you take advantage? If timed and placed correctly, you can hit multiple targets with a combo. Melee on 0.63 is on a whole other level, and you boys and girls are gonna love it. Up next is something else we've been waiting for for quite some time, growing beards and having the ability to shave them. Of course, the ability of growing a beard could be a way of telling how experienced a survivor is, or they just like having a beard. And if you didn't notice it already, you can see scars on the character's face, another indicator of how long a survivor has been alive and what it may have been through. Oh my god, I want me one of those knives. Here we have skinning and quartering animals, and if you take a close look at the hands, we can see blood stains. Oh, that's right. But other than looking really badass, it can have a chance of disease. So you better wash those hands pretty quick, otherwise you may find yourself dead sooner than you expect. Personally, I was looking forward to bloodied hands and a long beard and a scarred face, but it looks like those dreams have just been shattered. Oh well, clean hands and murdering people it is. Here we have an example of crafting a fireplace from the world. Having rags in our hands, looking at the log on the ground that the player just chopped from a tree, and holding left click with the rags in hand to craft a fireplace. This is how you'd craft many items in DayZ, as well as use items like combining ammo with magazines, making for much more intuitive actions, and making it feel like you're interacting with the world of DayZ even more than ever before. As for the aforementioned firearms, here's one of my favourite parts from 
Just check out the animations on these weapons, the FNX-45, how in sync the animation and audio is. 0.62 got nothing on 0.63. Now let's take a look at reloading ammunition into a spent magazine. Put the magazine in hand, ammo on the action bar. With the magazine in your hand, press and hold the action key for the ammo. And the longer you press that action key for the ammo, the longer it will load the ammo in until the magazine is full. The only bit of criticism I had with firearms was the ADS. Currently in the 0.63 demo we played, you had to right click to raise weapon, then click middle mouse button to ADS. Personally I'd prefer just a simple right click to ADS, or press and hold right click to raise weapon. This is how Daisy is currently. Also Peter has mentioned in the status reports having a double click of right mouse button to ADS, or just a simple hold to raise weapon. Personally a simple right click to ADS, and a hold right click to raise weapon would suffice but we'll see what the dev team decide on. But of course, with that being said, it is always still subject to change due to our feedback. So when the time comes, make sure we're reporting to that feedback tracker as much as possible, even with simple feedback to how the game is playing, features, or any bugs you find. So overall, I was very impressed with my time in DayZ 0.63. A lot of the improvements are game changers. Some will make DayZ a more pleasant and natural experience, and some, like being able to run up and down hills, will bring many of you back. Myself and the dev team will look forward to your feedback when 0.63's time has come. Until then, let me know in the comments below what you're most looking forward to in Daisy 2.0. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content that I create. And if you haven't seen it already, I'll leave you with this bit of PvP action at Staroy Military Base, all recorded within Daisy 0.63. Enjoy, and I'll see you peeps next time.